Hello folks, this is Kuyu Yogurt. I'm back here with a deck profile. Um you know I uploaded a video video yesterday about that opinion thing. That was supposed to be uploaded Thursday, but for some reason I accidentally didn't upload in time. Alright, so today so mainly this was supposed to be uploaded Friday. But since I had to wait until I upload the last video, I couldn't do it. So mainly, we're doing a black is my black wing deck, two point uh, two point zero. I know it kind of sounds weird, but I up I did some changes to the deck and I got a few cards. Also, in May, uh, probably in either in May or April, it deck. Um, the deck profile 2.5 will be out because I'm waiting until Techion to do the deck profile and if I get the cards I need. Also, I will be going a few, few with a few strategies from the deck uh, that I have created that I have come up with. So we're going to get into the monsters first. Two effect failures. Casually, I'll tell you later. One Gale. Three Share of the Blue Flames. One Zephyrus Sea Elite. Three Blackwing Colutes. Uh, Colutes of the Moon Channel, sorry. Uh, Dark Arm. Blackwing the, the Man of the Man the Polar Knight. Cyber Dragon. Three Blizzards of the North of the Far North. Uh, and then three boards of the spear, and then Blackwing Jin of the Rain Shadow. One, and that is the monster. So we're going to get into the spells. Three MST, Bulk, Hot, Monster Reborn, and Dark Hole. Those are staples, and then a Whirlwind, also Heavy Storm. Mainly the staples, including the staple Blackwing card. And then to the traps. Starlight Road. One of them. Two Mirror Forest. Two Torrential Tributes. Uh, I don't remember the name. Ex Exceeds Attack. One Delta Crow. Two Compulse. And then two Bottomless. So yeah, that's the main deck of it. And then we are going to go into the extra uh, into the side deck. One um, Maxi, two Thunder King Rios, two Snowman Eater, Chimera Fortress Dragon. This is the side deck, so you guys know. One Spell Shattering Arrow, two Soul Takers. One soul dream. Um, my minute order, I, uh, my order that I did, uh, accidentally forgot to put in the second one. They're refunding me, so they, s I got money back. Uh, two mind crush, and then two goes and rage, and then uh, one rivalry. Okay, so that's the side deck, and then for the extra deck, we're going to start off with the exceed. We are doing. My one my stroke, one Gaga Cowboy, one full time Pepper Operative. Also, I am looking for the hollow one of this so I can hollow out of my deck. Number na number sixty one Volcasaurus. Number fifty Black Ship of Corn. Uh number C thirty nine Utopia Ray. Number thirty nine Utopia. Iron Chain Dragon. We're in the signal zone. Here, Blackwing Gym of the Shining Star, Blackwing Armor Ring, Blackwing Armor Master, Ancient Fairy Dragon, Black Rose, Dragon, Blackwing Dragon, and then Stardust Dragon. Alright, so mainly I'm going to go over the combos. I will be going over the combos now. So, okay. 
I'm going to actually give myself a hand of cards that I would like to have in my hand. This is one of the combinations. Um, two, five, and then I draw. We'll go with random. Uh, random. Alright, so I open up. I had to get Whirlwind. Whirlwind to start it off. Search out for Shura. Whirlwind effect goes off. Search for Gale. Gale. Search out for Gale. Gale's effect special. Four's effect special. Uh, set two. Attack with attack with Shura. Shura's effect special summon Shin. Gale attacks attack. And then that main sees two. Um, I could, uh, oh, not Valor, uh, Zephyros. Um, Cinco for, uh, Cinco for, uh, Team Shy Shadow, that card, the latest Black Wing Seeker, Fight, gets a special summon, since it's a, I get special summon, a level 4 none, so it's effect is negated. This is like main taste too. Also, sync out for a level 7 armor master. Effect is a Rosterus. Turn back to hand. Take 400 points of damage. Activate. Overlay. C summon. Out for. For Maestro. That is, is one. That is first turn. That would be. This would be main phase two. You might think, why go into main phase two and then summon out all these beasts and monsters? One, you get rid of their monsters fast, and then you bring out heavy monsters next. Mainly, uh, the few tweaks I added. Um, the tweak I added. The thing that really makes me good. That I like is Blackwing Gem of the Shining Star. Its effect must be Synchro Summon. Must first be Synchro Summon. When this card is Synchro Summoned, you could special summon a level 4 or lower non tune or Blackwing monster from your hand. Its effect effects are negated. It is a 21 attack point beater and it is 15 for a start level 5 monster. That's good. And it is a Blackwing. But for some weird reason, it does need it does not need a black wing sync, a non black wing tuner. It needs a regular tuner and a regular monster. So I was surprised by that. I wonder why Konami did that. It puzzles me. And also another exchange, Volcasaurus. You might think, why Volcasaurus? It would be on a rare occasion I would use this card. I actually. Because it's so hard to pull it off. Like, if I had Jin on the field. Or, like, Cyber. Cy both overlay. Focus Horus. I might get rid of two level 5s. But I do get a Destroyer. Mainly, I pay the cost for two. And plus, really, his effect only goes off when he Synchro Summon. So, mainly, his cost is, like, for Exceed Summons and more Synchros. This guy is just for first turn Beat Stick. That's your destroyer. So mainly, I could really do this that. Yeah, and then mainly a few changes. But I really want to prep you up with it. Also, I need an, I want to get this from you guys. I have you, if, and it's probably going to be in my next video too. Uh, about um, evil swarms. Evil swarms have finally arrived. It is that next. It is Hidden Arsenal 7. It is Friday. The f I recorded this on Friday, so so mainly it is the Friday that it has released. 
probably maybe Saturday or Sunday I might buy a few of them. But I want to know. I know a few of the Xyz. Two of them can work for dark type monsters. Um, and also, uh, so mainly I was six thinking about putting them in my deck, but I want to get your opinion. Also, you know that the 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 evil swarm in the looks like Trishula needs three level four. It does not need an evil swarm. Its effect is good. I'm thinking about putting it in my deck. I want to get an idea from you guys. Its effect is mainly detach one, either return one monster your opponent has controls, return it back to the hand. Um, uh, target one card in your opponent's hand, put in the graveyard, and then, t or target one card in your graveyard, banish it. So mainly, it messes with your field, hand, and graveyard. So, and I could eat, and as you see with this card now, now available, I've been thinking, could I put it in my deck? Three level fours, easy to top. I could do that, like, probably second turn, maybe two, probably. Sure. And also, uh, Jin, the Shadow. And I think some people might ask me why I put this in. Uh, it's because of this card, actually. Because Shura can search out for it. I don't need his card. I don't, his effect is not that good. I find it, if this card battles a face-up defense monster was equal or less than this card's attack points, then at the start of the damage step, it is... It, it, well, it's destroyed at at the start of the damage step. Damage without damage conclusion. If he was like 15 attack points, then yeah, this guy would be good. But he's not. So mainly, I'd use him for. I'm gonna be using him for this guy at regionals. Oh, yeah, and also regionals is coming up next week. May. May 4th. Oh, sorry, guys. Yeah, May 4th. So, mainly, we will be waiting to see. I will, I'll do a video about, I'll probably do the video, I'll do the video and tell you guys how, which place I topped and see if I'm going to the next time. I, I only been to regionals once, I think. Once. I'm not that, I'm, I'm okay. I'm decent. I'm not the player. I didn't get an invite, and plus, it was late at night, I had to go. But this year, I am going to top, because really, it would be awesome. Also, give me a few opinions about my Blackwing deck. See, tell me a few tips that I can do. Uh, also, also, uh, spoiler alert, I will be, do might be doing a pack opening of the Hidden Arsenal set, and then coming in May, you will be seeing Tekion. You will be seeing the sneak peek opening of the packs when I get up. And I'll see, show, tell you if I get the map or not, because I really want that map. And I might do a box opening of Tekion. So mainly, I'm, you might be seeing a box. But also, spoilers, the infection, also, a, a new Firefish sponsor has been announced. Fire... Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Coyote it is a cyber dragon for the deck. A cyber dragon for the deck? Could this mean Volcasaurus is going to be in the game? Could Volcasaurus actually be in Fire Fist? It could be. It could be. But it might be tough. You need to control the face of a Fire Fist spell or trap to do it, but you can't control any monsters. If it said that you, if you even if you did have a monster, then I would see it. But still. Also, I will be doing a few tidbits. Oh, I will be doing a few tidbits about the Tekion uh, sneak peek releases. Once they release, um, a few more, like maybe four or three, or uh, five. If uh, they release five more, then I might tell you. I'll tell you the OCG ones in the t uh, world premiere. There have been two world premieres, and there's like three exclusives, two crystals, and then one of uh, one evil storm. Those ones were not in the Hidden Arsenal pack. So, yeah, they're in Tekion. But I'll tell you the world premieres, and then I'll tell you the OCG ones. So, and the Duff of Stardust. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Chris, with a deck profile, Blackwings 2.0.